हमें कितनी बार लगता है कि हमारा काम ही नहीं कंप्लीट हो पा रहा है आई विश वी हैड फ्यू मोर आवर्स टू फिनिश द जॉब दैट वी हैव इन हैंड हमें अपने फ्रेंड से मिलने का टाइम नहीं है हमारी फैमिली क्रिप करती रहती है यू नो यू नेवर गिव अस टाइम यू आर ऑलवेज वर्किंग और फिर भी वर्किंग करते करते हमारा काम ही नहीं खत्म होता है यस अ फैमिलियर सिचुएशन वी ऑल स्ट्रगल टू मीट आर डेडलाइंस टू कंप्लीट द प्रोजेक्ट्स टू कंप्लीट अ प्रेजेंटेशन और अ स्ट्रैटेजी डॉक्यूमेंट एंड फिर भी देर आर सो मेनी मीटिंग्स दैट आर स्टिल लाइन अप एंड वी नॉट finished with our meetings as well guys we are racing against time every now and then फिर लगता है काश यार दिन में 24 घंटे की बजाय 25 घंटे होते बट यू नो दैट्स दी आई नी ऑफ लाइफ वी हैव 24 फोर आवर्स इन अ डे एंड वी की नॉट गेट इवन अ सिंगल सेकेंड मोर उससे ज्यादा हमें मिल ही नहीं सकता सो वी हैव टू मैनेज एवरी थिंग इन दो ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स जिसमें हमें सोना भी है हम खाने पीने के लिए भी थोड़ा टाइम निकालते हैं एंड देन वी हैव टू फिनिश आर वर्क दैट वी वी बीन गिवन बाय द कंपनी टू आस राइट वी हैव टू डू जस्ट एस टू आर वर्क एज वेल बट इतना सब यू नो सो मच टू फिट इन टू दोज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वी मोस्ट मोस्टली स्ट्रगल विद दैट राइट सो बट दोज पीपल हु आर मैनेजिंग देर टाइम वेरी इफेक्टिवली दे आर दे डोंट स्ट्रगल विद द टाइम दे डोंट स्ट्रगल टू मीट डेड लाइन दे आर एबल टू फिनिश ऑल देयर मीटिंग्स दे आर फुल ऑन विद एनर्जी एक्सेट्रा राइट हाउ डू दे मैनेज देर टाइम वेरी इफेक्टिवली येस सो लेट्स गेट टू नो दिस इन टूडेज एपिसोड दिस इज सोनिया यू विद मी थिंकिंग आउट लाउड थर्स डेज एंड वी आर हैविंग कॉफी टूगेदर राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टूडेज एपिसोड you know in today's fast paced world where demands are constantly uh, competing or they are looking for our attention the art of managing time has become even more uh, critical in achieving success at work and also getting balance in our personal lives right so time management is basically how efficiently we use and control our time to maximize our productivity right in short get more done in less time right it needs to be treated because see time has to be treated respectfully if you're going to waste time and if you're not going to respect the time time is not going to respect you and whatever is the time that is gone it will not come back you're not going to get what uh, the even a single second which has passed you cannot add that second in the future it's a very very perishable item uh, not an item yeah but uh, it is perishable you cannot get what is the time which has been lost so don't waste time think about how you would like to utilize your day and move forward what are the things that you have in hand and how can you in that short span of say 9 hours or 10 hours how can you finish everything and also take out time for your family and friends right that is what is time management and we will look at because time management is also about planning organizing your tasks that you have in hand whatever activities that you have whatever responsibilities that you have that maximizes your productivity your efficiency your effectiveness in the long run right so it is very very crucial because once you start managing your time on day to day basis you will not only find that your productivity has increased but you will also see that your performance is much better you're able to meet the deadlines your bosses are not always telling you what happened you've not finished your project on time you've not submitted we don't know where the first draft of the presentation is because since you've started managing your time very effectively you're able to meet your deadlines as well and that is in turn reducing the stress that you're getting every now and then that boss is scolding me my colleagues are not very happy my family is not happy because i'm not taking out time for them right so you basically land up reducing a lot of stress in your life right uh, you're able to focus on how better i can do whatever task is there uh, improve the quality of whatever is the work that i'm doing and avoid a lot of errors because see if you don't manage your time more effectively what you're doing is you're doing it in a hurry in an unplanned manner and the chances of making errors will be much more so 
when you're managing your time more effectively what in turn you're doing is you're also avoiding the silly mistakes and errors that might happen along the journey right and you're able to make better decisions because you know you are full in control of your time you're respecting each and every moment every minute of your time so you know that okay fine if this is what i have to do if i'm giving one hour in that meeting then i will make sure that the decision is taken or i'm going to make sure that my boss approves whatever i'm seeking an approval from him right so every time that you're spending on any item that you're doing you will realize that you are respecting not just the time but whatever that you're doing as well right and in turn you land up making good decisions uh, at work and even in your personal life uh, personal life too right so how do you manage your time you know kehna aasan hai ki you know time manage kar lo 24 ghante hai 9 ghante hai 10 ghante hai ab kaise manage karo how do i manage my 8 9 hours hang on let me share how i manage my time and uh, i'm sure you'll find some useful tips in this and uh, hope it makes your life a little more uh, easier smoother and hassle free right so first thing you what you need to do is first know how you are spending your time because if you don't know where all your time is going then how will you manage your time you know so first figure out how are you spending your days are you like um, reaching office late are you reaching on time uh, do you make like a, what are the meetings that you have is there any deadline for today that you have to meet up with is there any meeting schedule is there any customer meeting that you have to go do you have to go to the site uh, so figure out first where all your time is going are you checking too many emails are you wasting your time over too many coffee tea breaks with chit chatting with your colleagues etc so figure out how are you spending your time now and then only you will be able to figure out where are you wasting your lot of time and there are a lot of these time tracking um, apps that you can use to uh, make it much more easier to see where your time is going you know there are apps like toggle or clockify and rescue time so you can try using these apps i I've, i've tried using rescue time and it's a good app that you can also try but you others are also a couple of my friends have used toggle and uh, clockify as well and they are pretty happy with the results so try using these time tracking apps and see where are you wasting your time where you could have better utilized your time in a more effective manner and agar aapko koi app nahi use karna if you don't want to use any app aap simple ek excel sheet banao aur usme aap likho ki aap office kitne baje pahunche what are the things that you did ईच एंड एवरी मिनट का आपको हिसाब उसमें लिखना है यू हैव टू बी ऑनेस्ट विद योर ओन सेल्फ राइट यू कान चीट बिकॉज दिस इज गोन बेनिफिट यू अगर आप इसमें भी चीटिंग करोगे तो फिर कैसे चलेगा राइट सो इधर यूज अ टाइम यू नो मैनेजमेंट ऐप और टाइम फिगरिंग आउट वे योर टाइम इज गोइंग और जस्ट मेंटेन एन एक्सेल शीट टू सी कि एक महीने तक उसको मेंटेन करो और फिर देखो आपका टाइम कहाँ कहाँ वेस्ट हो रहा है बहुत ज़्यादा कहाँ आप थोड़ा सा मोर इफेक्टिव बन सकते हो राइट सो डू दैट नो हाउ योर टाइम इज गोइंग एंड हाउ इफेक्टिवली यू कैन मैनेज दैट टाइम राइट द सेकंड इज यू मेक अ स्केड्यूल एंड यू स्टिक टू इट आप अगर हैप हैजर्ड वे में विदाउट मेकिंग एनी प्लान एनी स्केड्यूल एंड इफ यू इफ यू जस्ट वेकअप इन द मॉर्निंग से ओके आई एम गोन हैव एन ऑसम डे बट यू डोंट नो वॉट इज योर स्केड्यूल गोन बी आप ऑफिस पहुँचने के बाद क्या करोगे इज देर एनी ई मेल्स दैट यू हैव टू रिप्लाई एनी मीटिंग्स यू हैव टू डू एनी लेटर्स दैट यू हैव टू साइन एनी एग्रीमेंट्स यू हैव टू लुक एट basis your job role if you don't make a plan of what you're going to do in that day then it will be all random people will give in last minute work to you you will get stuck in your last minute works because it happened with me so many times because if if i initially never used to make my to do list that was long back but it's been almost years and years that i always plan my day first thing when i reach the office either a day before or the time that i reach the office i take 5 minutes to just go through as to today what does my day look like and i stick to it at least 90% of whatever i plan i've always ticked it 
and if i have not ticked something meaning i didn't find time for it i could have done that but i was unable to do that right so uske liye fir mujhe thoda late rukna padega i'll have to finish that task and go which is not something i like i don't like that you know unnecessarily why to keep the work pending for the next day i don't like to keep anything pending for my next day if i have to come at work right so make a schedule create your daily weekly monthly so when your month is starting figure out what is this month going to be what are the things that you want to achieve in the month and us month ko fir aap break down kariye in terms of week the four weeks that you have what are the things that you want to make uh, uh, or make it happen or what are the things that you have to uh, finish in those uh, each week and once you've done your weekly tentative what are the things that you have to attend to then look at what is it that you have to do today and before you leave for the day look at what are the things from this day which are carried forward for the next day hona nahi chahiye but <clears throat> ho jata hai that you know you carry forward few things which could not happen today you doing it tomorrow so see what are the things that you have to carry forward for the next day and then what are the other urgent things that you have to attend for that right so make a schedule and please stick to it don't be like okay bana liya schedule because i have to impress my boss so you made the schedule your boss is happy such an organized person i have in my team but if you're going to keep skipping your deadlines and your boss will say what is the use of making a schedule if you're still missing your deadlines if you're still not able to finish your work right not a good sign so please make a schedule and you can use lot of tools which are there you can use a calendar put everything in your calendar okay today from 11 am to so you can look at your calendar and see okay fine if any new person has come and say sir there is this client who's just last minute come can you please fit him in your schedule up if you've made a schedule then you can look at your calendar and say okay fine i have this slot available i can only do it in this because rest my entire calendar is chock a block so when you managing your time in a more effective manner use a calendar i use a calendar like a google calendar you can use or if you're working on an outlook you can even block your times in the outlook calendar as well it's much more easier it makes your life much simpler right even if i have to like uh, do a personal call and or if i have to go somewhere uh, maybe there's some family emergency i'm going i make sure that i kind of update my calendar that i'm not available and then you can share that calendar with your team as well that anybody can look at your calendar and say that okay fine if a meeting and that will only happen if you get into a very senior position but yes if you join the company new and you're at a very uh, starting level of the organization then I, i don't think you need to share your calendar but for your own sake start practicing this from the beginning because it will become a good habit and uh, when you're starting your career you want to have good habits you want to start your career with uh, developing some very good habits right so you can use a calendar you can use uh, maybe uh, some apps to track your appointments etc you can use that or if the company already has uh, some applications or some apps like asana and project management tools if they have use that uh, you know put everything in that calendar because then through that network others will know okay fine what you're doing your boss will not keep checking with you what are you doing now how where did your time go so they will check look at your calendar and they'll say okay fine you were busy doing all these things right so please do that now the third thing is start learning start to learn to prioritize things right i have spoken about this in my previous videos as well you can use like eisenhower matrix um, uh, which is like what is urgent that needs your attention immediately finish it far uh, quickly something which is very important but which is not urgent that doesn't need to be finished today you can keep it for the later half of the day something which is important but you don't need to get involved into it you can delegate it to others so look at eisenhower matrix that's a very good i follow that principle so i when i'm making my day i look at what is so urgent and important that only i can handle it i put that in the top bucket something which is very important but is not urgent i keep it for less 
something which is very important and urgent but i don't need to do it i don't need to be there in that meeting right my colleagues can go and attend that meeting so i delegate that to my colleagues to say that okay why don't you do it i'm not available for this time right so and something which is neither urgent nor important i just keep it like your you know time for looking at your social medias right and uh, block your time so uh, when i have to check my emails it's not like every time 5 minutes i'm checking my email on my phone because nowadays you can uh, you know sync in your emails to your phones as well right but i don't check my emails every 5 minutes i keep a time for it that okay fine after maybe every 1 hour i'll give 5 minutes to checking your emails or maybe in the first half i'll keep half an hour where i'll check all the emails and i will reply to all the mails and before i leave for the day i will again check all the emails and i will reply to those mails so instead of wasting time every 5 minutes checking unnecessary emails you're wasting a lot of time in that so instead use this blocking technique that you block time for everything that you have to do so you block time for doing some urgent important works in the morning you block time when you have to do meetings you try and club lot of meetings together and you block time for it block time for checking emails block time for meeting any customers etc it is really helpful try doing that because that way you'll be able to prioritize what needs to be done now and what can be done later right you can uh, follow a 2 minute rule 2 uh, minute rule also you can do 80 20 principle as well you can look at um, and also if you want to take breaks and all you know uh, look at pomodoro technique i have spoken about it at length in my previous videos but all it says is that your 1 hour divided into 25 minutes and 5 minutes so which means 25 minutes you focusedly do what you have to do and after that take a 5 minute break put a alarm in your phone and in that 5 minute just go stretch yourself if you want to have water you want to take coffee etc or you need to make a quick call you can do that right after 25 minutes again you take a 5 minute break and like this if your 1 hour goes by then take a longer break like a maybe a 15 20 minutes break and then restart your another 1 hour right so uh, that is helpful because you don't get drained out you're not over stress with work you don't feel there is so much work on your head and it gives you a little bit of breathing time as well so start to prioritize what work is important and handle it accordingly now the next is limit your distraction so when you're working don't keep notifications on for unnecessarily all the apps in your phone please turn off the notifications um, only attend to uh, your friends and family when they're calling only attend to if there is something really important otherwise send an auto message saying that i am at work if there is anything urgent important please message me so they'll message you you look at it if it's really urgent please attend to that right because family emergencies or families uh, problems if they are uh, arising at work it is something urgent it is something important and only you can handle it so please handle it right so but limit your distractions keep your phone on silent when you're going in for meetings or you have to do something with full concentration you don't want any disturbance so please put your phone on dnd don't attend to anything else right so that will help you and learn to say no the next thing is learn to say no because we have a habit that ki koi bhi humse aake help mangega please can you help me with looking at this presentation can you help me with how to make that deck can you help me with what is this report that is required so there are hundred things that will people will ask you for help and you being a helping nature person you cannot say no to people right and usme kya hota hai ki aapka pura schedule gadbad ho jata hai so you then you know whatever schedule that you've made for your day goes for a toss so best thing is learn to say no just say i'm not available right now but yes i can help you after this time if it suits you i can give you 5 10 minutes but start saying no because then other people will get a habit of always approaching you basis their convenience and not looking at whether it's convenient for you or not so please start saying no and avoid multitasking don't do two three things at the same time email bhi check kar rahe ho sath mein ek presentation bhi khol ke baithe ho you're working on the presentation also and then you're looking at some document has come on your whatsapp you're reading that document also in that what you're trying to do is you are trying to do everything but you'll not be able to complete 
anything in that given span of time that's the reason you do batching you do <coughs> you club things together and you block time together for for doing things right so don't multitask because that will reduce your productivity your quality of work your uh, you'll miss the deadlines you'll make errors in that so please don't do multitasking right and <clears throat> and if you're trying to put some time limits to finishing a particular task set reasonable time don't get into the pressure because somebody wants it by tomorrow morning and you know your schedule that by tomorrow morning you won't be able to do it so tell it right on the face that i won't be able to give it by tomorrow morning but however tomorrow before say 5 o'clock i'll give you the document by 5 i'll be able to finish and give it to you and if i can finish it early i will give you the document right so please be forthright please be honest and tell the other person just to please somebody if you're going to give a very tight timeline only you will be suffering in that right so please don't do that don't give unreasonable time limits to your own jobs that you have to finish right keep things organized at your table you know keep your table organized don't have unnecessary clutter around your staplers your pen pencils there are a lot of a4 sheets lying around because if your table is not organized your mind will never be at peace to concentrate and work so keep your table organized and keep um, keep your uh, mornings your first half of the day you keep for doing something which is very tough uh, needs a lot of attention span and uh, you've been avoiding to do that task for a very long time but the deadline is coming and you have to finish it so all the things that you think are going to take a lot of energy of yours do it in the morning because in the morning you are filled with energy right and you will be able to complete that task right so um, and once one last thing i want to say so once you've uh, done your to do list and you finished all the things do an audit also of your own time that you know how was your day spent uh, how how much time did you spend on which activity during the week is there something that you can improve because when you start doing your own auditing of the how you're managing your time you'll see that you know you will improve your productivity in the next week in the following month and it will be very beneficial to you so please remember effective time management is not only about doing more tasks but it's about working smarter reducing your stress balancing your work and your personal life so don't waste your time doing all the other things that are unnecessary which is not adding value to your own life so do things that are adding value to your life and don't waste your time into some things that are not required and they don't mean anything to you right on that note i'm going to end my thinking out loud thursdays i hope you enjoyed this session of mine and if you did please subscribe to my channel yes and i'm going to see you next thursday have a great day everyone bye bye